a must watch if you're into skins the rarest skin in counter-strike arrow has shifted his content to only uploading bangers a bangers only policy rarest skin in counter-strike life now took me a hundred plus hours of researching writing and recording it's finally done boys we go in this is an Let's off go. dragon lore one of the most sought after and expensive skins in counter-strike but it isn't as rare as you might think with over six thousand of them it's not even the rarest op guys I'm gonna waffle a lot, okay? Rarest skin in Counter Strike. Ooh, what is he gonna break down? Stat Trek Minimal Wear Black Pulse, there's some one of ones. Stat Trek Factional Crimson Webs, I think there mm, they may be a one of one for some, for some newer knives. Maybe he's also pattern basedness with blue gems. Let's find out. So then, from the billions of skins, which one is the rarest? Stat Trek Well Worn Howl, super rare because float. Find out, I packed my bag and traveled all around the world, and I got a lot of answers, so I'll be splitting them up into different categories. It's Easter eggs, wait. On the world, and I got a lot of answers, so I'll- Rarest item question mark. Souvenir, sticker, glove, knife, float, illegal. Something he drew in high school, I assume. We have a little artwork right here. W room, we have a guitar. All right. Be splitting them up into different categories and ranking them from least to most rare. Now let's start with souvenirs. And if you don't already know, these are items unboxed during majors. And to learn more about them, I stayed right at home in America. <laughs> this is when I learned about the oldest souvenir package from the DreamHack 2013 major. When these were first released, they were almost all unboxed. And in 2015, when it would have already been expensive to open these, Valve accidentally added the R8 bone mask, leaving us with just nine of them. By far making it the rarest single souvenir item. I want to get rare with it. And for that, I'm going to be looking at souvenirs within a specific wear. First, there's the imminent danger, which is so hard to unbox and well-worn that it- Guys, just a quick story on this R8. Just quickly, just quickly. The R8, it's, it's, it's a package from 2013, right? And the R8 got released years later. It shouldn't be in that case, but for whatever reason, it is. So years later- um, nowadays, like in 2020 and so on, 2021, people unboxed some of these old packages and realized, oh damn, you can get the souvenir bone mask from this. Sells for thousands of dollars if you get it. Jesus unboxed one himself, a Cato 14 one, one of the rarest ones. I think he sold it for, was it $4,000 or something? I don't know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Super cool, unique. Somehow they f up and the R8 is inside wear. First, there's the imminent danger, which is so hard to unbox and well-worn that it only exists four times. Wow. This is due to the float cap, making it much harder to unbox and well-worn. And there's also not many people opening Vertigo packages, but if you do, there's only a 1 in 3,906 chance that you unbox the red. The same odds as unboxing a Dragon Lore. And the D-Lore has a very similar float cap, so there's only three in well-worn, oh. making it the second second rarest souvenir. Excuse me, why are some floats more rare? Well, floats aren't actually random. Even though it <laughs> looks like you should be getting factory new 7% of the time, it's actually only 3% of the time. You three clowns are in here again? Get the out! <laughs> Plus one. But what is the rarest souvenir? That would be the <laughs> M4A1S Nitro, oh. which only exists a hundred times in Souvenir, but due to the extremely small float cap for Factory New, oh. there's only one. Ah. The Dude, one of the coolest items, one of the coolest items, bro. Oh, yo, yo. I think this one, wasn't it for sale recently or something? There was something with this one recently. Look how nice it is, bro. It has a Snowflake Dreamhack sticker on it in not the best position, but one of the better positions for sure. Oh. Let's go. Souvenir factory new. The odds to one unbox of one. one of these is incredibly small, so the fact that it even exists is quite rare. Now on to stickers, and for this, I flew to where they're most popular. China. These are the two most expensive stickers, the iBuyPower and Titan Hollow. But are they the rarest? I counted up all the I buy power hollows, and there's nearly 5,000 of them applied onto weapons. Wow. And almost 8,000 Titan hollows. Yeah. But if we're talking about... What a lot of people, uh, let me just quickly say this, because I invested into Keto 14 stickers, uh, like I have still a bunch, and the challenge, it's still the same nowadays. There's always different capsules, right? Challengers and legends, and there's always um, teams that are cooler in one capsule rather than the other. The challengers capsule is much rarer than the legends capsule, because everybody was trying to get, in the legends you have NIP, which was God here back in the day, a lot of people bought NIP, 
um, about the NIP capsule, which was the Legends one, which happens to have the Titan holder as well. There's old unboxings back from 2014 of these Katowice um, packages where people say, oh no, not a Titan holder. I'm trying to get the NIP, guys, because it was the best team and it was actually in price, um, I, th I think maybe even higher than some of the other holders from the capsule because it was, they were dominating back then. ...about these stickers not applied onto weapons, then there's about a hundred of each. And these aren't even the rarest I buy power stickers. From DreamHack 2014, there are 1,170 wow. I buy power golds. And from Cato 2014, there's 347 I buy power foils. But this still isn't the rarest. Tyloo qualified and wow. even had stickers for the Boston 2018 major, but they weren't able to get visas. The the capsules they were in were quickly swapped out and not many people had opened them before they did this, leaving us with more I buy power hollows than all Tylu player stickers combined. But more specifically is the Bondit Gold that only exists nine times. Oh! Six that are on skins and three which are unapplied. By far the rarest sticker. I think, do we still have some Brazilians in the chat? I think your, your favorite streamer gowls this has a lot of these super rare Tai Lu Boston uh, golds. Let me make sure if that's true or not. Here, Boston gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, not the one in question though, bonded. He doesn't have bonded, never mind. Okay, no, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. Before we get to the knife, we're gonna need some gloves. Maybe in a container. That, I went to Antarctica. Was it Hundred Thieves? He did have some super rare Bostons, like um, Gowl's nose is so into skins. He has a number one blue gem as well. Oh, it's cold. There we go. Now, gloves are already pretty rare, with only one million in circulation compared to the three million knives. And something that I found interesting is that sport gloves exist the most while also being the most expensive. While Bloodhound gloves are some of the cheapest and only 27,000 of them exist. Wow. But that's still a lot. So then what are the rarest gloves? These are the tier one Max Red Minimal Wear Crimson Kimonos. This is a pattern based skin and it has five tiers based on the amount of red that it has. And there are oh. only four tier one patterns that have the max amount of- Four or five. One, one kind of got added, bro. Oh, my favorite gloves. I have one of these and feel tested. I love it, love it, love it. A lot of pros are using these nowadays as well. They're borrowing them from Chinese collectors. Bruder. Red, leaving us with only 11 so nice. minimal wear tier one pairs. And, and the crazy part, there is no factory new ones. There's always a bunch of filters. There's probably around 100 tier one filters. No factory new ones, which could be the most expensive gloves in the game over Pandora's box gloves. A tier one max red factory new would be insane. I think minimal wear max reds sold for, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was $40,000. Was it 40K? I think so. <clears throat> FN, so FN would go nuts. Unlikely to unbox one of these that the factory new version doesn't even exist yet. Next up are knives. And for that, I went to the UK because they have a bit of a knife problem. But Arrow, we don't have a knife problem knife. in the UK. Ah! Uh, anyways, Counter-Strike definitely Sparkles does have feature. a knife problem. We've unboxed 3 million knives, which is 1.2 billion cases, oh. most of which are butterfly knives due to being in so many different cases and also having one all to themselves. And the rarest finish is the black pearl with only 217 of them. But why is that? Well, if you were to unbox a butterfly knife Doppler, there's a 10% chance for it to be a gem and a 1% chance for it to be a black pearl. On top of that is a 10% chance for it to be Star Trek and then a 1 in 26 chance for it to be minimal wear. Which means this exact knife that you're looking at had a 1 in 300 million chance wow. of being unboxed. And with that, we're just getting started. If we use these exact same <laughs> calculations on the factory new Krambit case Harden pattern 387, we find that it's a yeah. 1 in 820. 25 million oh. chance to be unboxed. Now, obviously, that's the same odds as every other factory new case Arden, but this is the holy grail of blue gems, and there's only one. Now on to floats, and if you wow. don't know, this is what determines how good or bad- We all know the $1.5 million Karambit had an offer, 1.0, 1.5 mil, still in the same hands. Owner said, no, it's a guy who's into NFT games now, uh, I think, or AI games, something like this. Newbridge is his name, still has it to, the, uh, to this day. 
Now on to floats, and if you don't know, this is what determines how good or bad a skin looks. And to learn more, I sailed to Japan. And here I found the <laughs> highest float skin Emerald. in the game. And another one, and then 16 others. Uh. But how can they all be the same float? Well, the highest you can get is just six nines in a row and then an eight, because Valve coded it slightly under the maxed integer. Which means that anything dropped between this range is pushed down, and that's why we have 18 skins with the same float. But one of them is a bit more unique than the rest. Even though it's the same float, the AK headshot is oh. by far the rarest high float skin. Because it's a red, the chances wow. to unbox it in the first place is 1 in 156. And This got unboxed like a month ago, by the way. Although it's hard to calculate exactly what the odds are, we do know that from 19 million reds, it's the only one with this float. Crazy. But what's even more mind-blowing about this skin, and this isn't a joke, it was unboxed today. And even before this was unboxed, I was talking about how the roll cage was actually the rarest high float skin. And even though I'm a little bit freaked out, we still have to look at some low floats. Like this classic fade, which is the lowest oh. float knife in the game with seven zeros. Wow. See, what's great about low floats is that they don't cap until incredibly small numbers, so we can get some really impressive skins. And that leads us perfectly into the M249 gear Oy. mesh. By far, the lowest float skin in Counter-Strike with nine zeros. Now, I mentioned the max signed integer earlier. What was the offer on this M249? Dennis owns this. Was it, was it, what was it? <clears throat> was it $8,000? Someone offered $8,000 for this M249. But it is the lowest float skin in the game, which is kind of crazy. Wait, sold for 20K. I forgot about that. When was that? What? How did I forget about that? Twen ah, it sold to for a Keto Capsule. I remember. Lol. Someone, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, someone traded for a Keto Capsule. Uh, 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 um, her, no? Um, API, uh, what's her name? <clears throat> Didn't she buy it? Wait, let me see. Italian collector, wait. Gate time. Yeah, here, here, here. Low float trans girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. GG. A cat of 14 capsule she traded for it. Holy macaroni. <clears throat> Insane. 20k. 20k but always shows up uh, as number one on uh, uh, on any database here's float always on top crazy skin this float skin in counter-strike with nine zeros now i mentioned the max signed integer earlier but this is when it's really important out of the two billion different possible floats this m249 is number three <sighs> yep number three wow. so this really is a one in a billion chance skin and compared to every other skin on this list it kind of just beats them all well not exactly i still need to talk about some skins that shouldn't exist and for that i got back on the boat and went to a place that shouldn't exist australia where i saw some very strange creatures and another strange m249 gator mesh except this one is a souvenir and we have no idea where it came from it's the one and only souvenir without an item description huh? every other souvenir has this text explaining what event it came from but this one doesn't we can of course tell by the sticker that it's from dreamhack 2013 but that's all we know for sure it is suspected that it was the first souvenir ever unboxed, but we don't have an actual answer. I don't know about that. What? I've never seen that before. That's insane. Who owns that? Fuss? What's the float of that? How do I find it? Souvenir M4 Gator Mesh. Bro, I'm stunlocked right now. Because I, th I thought, uh, like, uh, I know stuff like this. Bro, that, that is amazing. Oh my god. How do I find it? How do I find it? One and only souvenir Mods. without an item description. Every other souvenir has this text explaining what event it came from, but- Which sticker is it? Shooter. Chad, I have to see who owns it. I have to see who owns it, bro. Like, immediately I want to buy it. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shooter, shooter. Who owns this? Nine. There's too many, Chad. There's too many. Ah, man. GG, GG, GG. GG. This guy doesn't sell. This guy doesn't sell. <clears throat> it, it has to be this one. GG, bro. Holy macaroni. Description. I F wonder how much you pay for that. Every other souvenir has this text explaining what event it came from, but this one doesn't. We can of course tell by the sticker that it's from DreamHack it's 2013, but that's all we know I for can't sure. Check it. it is suspected that it was the first souvenir ever unboxed, but we don't have an actual answer. However, we know exactly why our final skin exists. This oh. is the No Star Karambit. Called that because it's the only knife without this little star. Wow. And it also has a float of zero, the 
only skin without an actual float. And it even has its own Steam market page where only it can be sold. It was created by Steam support when they used to refund scammed items. Wow. Usually support would have sent the exact same item back, but while sending out the Karambit, they accidentally created a completely new item and there's nothing else even similar. But of course, every skin I mentioned is special. Do you know what's crazy? There's apparently as well a, I think it's a Bayonet No Star, which just popped up a uh, skin pod released their own database. And on that database, there shows up this knife. I remember being in Iceland um, in a car with Anomaly, and he was about to buy new pants because his pants were wet. And then a tweet popped up, no star bayonet. <laughs> and I was in the car like, holy macaroni. <laughs> Bro, I was stunlocked. I thought about it about all day. I remember that exact moment, bro. Let me see. Skin port database. <laughs> here. Yeah, here. Bayonet vanilla. Zack. But um, I don't think this guy has it. Um, it's It's... Look, zero float. We don't even know if it's if it's real. There's also, I think, a flip knife, no star flip knife, Steam market page. Um, so that implies as well that that they should exist. Bayonet is not tradable. Yeah, there's something different about it. It's just it's just still cool because it, it we realized that super late, and they probably have existed for years, you know. And there's nothing because of skins parts' database, which lacks a lot, but. Um, uh, it did get revealed there. ...else even similar. But of course, every skin I mentioned is special for its own reason. Because there's not enough packages. And same goes for the Bondic Gold. But we might eventually get those factory new Crimson Kimonos, the 387 yeah. Grambit, or a lower float skin. And we know that Valve is not perfect. So let me know which one you think is the rarest. Has to be the No Sucker Rambit, no? No Sucker Rambit, the, the, the law around it, the history. Holy. I wonder if this knife will ever sell. Probably not. It is tradable. It is tradable. There is, there is threats on Reddit back when the knife was in a, in a guy's inventory who actually was uh, selling it. And he was trying to sell it for, I think, 500 keys. And people were selling 500 keys for Karambit Vanilla. Bro, it is funny as hell. And now it would be worth... Pff, 100k or something? We don't know. Hey, leave Arrow some absolute love. What a video. Open the video on your phone right now. Leave it open the whole time. Suck for the algorithm. Leave a comment. Drop the heart. Pop some bells. You already know, bro. Holy man. Damn, I can't believe he flew all the way to Japan for one scene and then flew to Japan again because a new rival skin dropped. <laughs> bro. Okay, this is the best video regarding skins. Yes, because he's knowledgeable, bro. He is him when it comes to skins, bro. Love Arrow, bro. I love Arrow.